Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. Today, we we'll continue with our SQL Accounting System GST module tutorial. Before I start, you may go to my website syntax.com.my, go to the YouTube, and get back all the previous tutorial video for GST and also any SQL Accounting System tutorial. Let's go to SQL. In GSD era, any present or gift for the same person for the same year, then it will subject to gift rules. In SQL, the gift rule can be entered over GSD, gift or dim supply. Go to here, new. Let's say we give a gift to one of the employees. And it's already July. So either you can select an item code or just put a gift over here. Let's say you have stock loss and you want to account for GST, it will do the same way. So let's say you put one quantity and the cost is let's say 300. So the tax code should be deemed supply. Then we select a expenses account. Let's say we select gift. So we just save it. There's no GST because it's less than 500 ringgit. So later on, for the same person, we give another gift. Let's say in May. So one in quantity. This time we put 700 ringgit. And you can see that for the GST part, it's not 6% multiplied by 700 ringgit. It's actually 6, 700 ringgit plus the previous 300 ringgit in total of 1000 ringgit multiplied by 6%, then you get the 60. So this is the gift rules. There is an amendment for gift rules previously. Previously, we only calculate GST based on the amount that's more than 500 ringgit. But now, any amount that exceeded 500 ringgit, you need to plus back the previous amount that which is have not exceeded 500 ringgit, just like this example. So, this is gift rules. Any other team supply will do the same way. So, that's all for today. If you are free, please drop by at my Facebook. It's facebook.com slash syntax technologies. Please like my Facebook so you can have all the latest GSD info or SQL accounting info. Thank you. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies.